Hello everyone, let's start with a prayer. We make the sign of the cross to remind ourselves that we are always in the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, thank you for all that you have created for us. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts and talents you have given us. Help guide our paths as we begin our new adventure into secondary school at St John Fisher. Send your spirit upon us to give us strength and courage and still our anxious hearts. Remind us to make wise choices in all that we do so that we may always treat others kindly with patience and gentleness. Help us to use this new start to be the best we can be and open our ears to listen to your goodness so that others might see this within us. May we be a shining example to all. Amen. St John Fisher, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, New Year 7 families. I'm Dipna Lennon, the very proud head teacher of St John Fisher School. I'm delighted to welcome you to our wonderful first evening together and thank you for making the time to listen. It has been really lovely to meet so many of you over the last few weeks and hearing about your hopes and your dreams for the next stage of your child's education. The next seven years are so important for every student who is joining us. The relationship that we will have between the school and you is one that's incredibly important to ensure success for all our wonderful students. We're very proud of our diverse school family and the excellent relationships that we have with our community. At St John Fisher, we help our students to do and be better for themselves, their family and their community. We are dedicated to supporting and challenging each other and always giving back to others. We're a Catholic school that includes, involves and inspires everyone. We are a proudly comprehensive school. We provide the platform to allow students to explore their true potential and we create opportunities for them to progress to university, further education or high quality, high level apprenticeships. St John Fisher Catholic Comprehensive School has been transformed and we are determined to become a world class school. The last few years have seen a significant uplift in our exam results and our Ofsted rating. Our new school building will help us to build on this in the years to come. Moving to one site will provide the outstanding facilities that our students, our staff and our community deserve. You are joining us at such an exciting time in our proud history and we look forward to welcoming you as part of our school family. Thank you. Hello there, my name is Mr Bowers. I'm going to be talking to you today about teaching and learning and extracurricular opportunities at St John Fisher. The first thing I'd like to introduce is the silent learning starter. The expectation is that all pupils will spend the first five minutes of every lesson in silence completing a task. This makes sure that they're in the right frame of mind for learning and gets the lesson started quickly. You can see here an example of a geography lesson, and this might be an opportunity to introduce new concepts or recap concepts from previous lessons. We're very aware that every moment inside the classroom is vitally important. and We need to make sure that they're being used productively. Here we have a few different ways in which this is done. Visual timers are used during all activities to make sure that pupils know exactly how long they've got to complete those tasks. We have a method of scaffolding whereby we teach to the top and therefore, and then support and scaffold all activities to make sure that all pupils can be successful. And finally, our expectations. Regardless of background or ability, we will make sure that our expectations of all pupils is very high at all times. One thing that's very different to uh, many other schools that you might have seen is our feedback policy, sometimes called purple pen review. The key principles are, Books are not marked in the traditional sense by teachers. However, assessments are still marked. Every four to six lessons, the pupil's work is reviewed by the teacher to identify common errors or misconceptions. 
The teacher then plans activities to address those misconceptions in the next lesson. The review work is evidenced with either review stickers or completed in purple pen. The benefits of this include much higher frequency of feedback. This is much more quick than it would have been with traditional marking. And also pupils aren't just shown where they've gone wrong, they actually act on it and they improve and they can be successful and have the impact to make sure that they are learning. The next thing I want to talk about is extracurricular opportunities. So we have a range of different extracurricular opportunities. They are things like clubs, but also trips and challenges. Pupils can decide which clubs and challenges and trips they're going to go on. And we have a system whereby we can track the attendance of those and they can also show evidence where they have uh, met those challenges to their form tutor and they can accrue points to different pillars and basically uh, work towards achieving different parts in terms of extracurricular activities. We have six pillars within the school that all of the extracurricular opportunities come under and they include resilient independent learners, student leadership, curriculum enrichment, careers enrichment, Catholic community contribution and well-being. And pupils can accrue points to all of those and then uh, evidence that and be successful in terms of the extracurricular opportunities. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Mrs. Tabiri, the head of year seven. My role as a head of year is in two folds, the academic side and the pastoral side. Supporting your child academically means I work closely with their class teachers and the curriculum leaders. And what I do is that I analyze their data after every progress report to see where your child is underachieving so I can put the right intervention programs for them. Pastorally, I work closely with Ms. Leck, who is our pastoral care lead. And what we do is that we ensure that your child is happy and well supported whilst they are in our care. Any concerns that they raise, we aim to address it promptly and appropriately. Again, if they have any barriers to their learning, we endeavour to remove it so that your child achieves to the best of their ability. I look forward to welcoming them into our SJF school community. Thank you. Welcome. I am Mrs Bailey and I'm the head of Mason Road site and I look forward to welcoming your child to St John Fisher. This year at the Mason Road site we have had sixth form and year seven for the very first time. This was a very successful initiative that we introduced and it has created new ways in which we are able to support your child. We have had six formers as mentors and offering subject help to share their love of their A-level subjects. We have also had six formers providing maths and reading support and supporting Year 7 with the changes that secondary school bring. Life at St John Fisher is a partnership between yourselves as parents and carers and students and staff. We have a team to support your child, including Miss Legg, our pastoral care leader, and Mrs Tabiri, our head of year, both of which are present every day at the gate. Miss Legg is there from quarter to eight in the morning and at the end of the day. We aim to build a strong relationship with home to help your child settle quickly into the St John Fisher way of life. You will receive a progress report three times a year and this will show you which subjects your child is meeting or indeed exceeding of their target grade and any subjects that 
they may require some extra help with. All staff monitor closely progress in their lessons and we have a strong teaching and learning ethos as Mr Bowers has explained. Here at St John Fisher we practice a can-do attitude to enable all students to be the best they can possibly be. Our school community is based on the five respects. Respect for yourself, respect for others, respect for learning, respect for the environment and respect for God. This is the foundation of our community. We regularly reinforce these values through morning lineup, assemblies and during lesson times in the school day. We build on our respects through our praise and sanctions policy. We regularly award praise points in lessons and for other good deeds. We expect all our students to engage in a respectful and appropriate manner whilst in school and on the way to and from home. We aim to share their successes with you as their parent and carer and we are proud of our students. As such, we issue awards for students as they collect points. We understand that the move to secondary school can be daunting for some pupils. Please could you help us by ensuring your child organises the, their bag the night before. This will make them have a confident start the next day. We are here to help and support and please encourage your child to talk to a member of staff if they are confused or unhappy about something. Please remember Miss Legg as our pastoral care leader is the first point of call. She is on the gates every morning and evening to deal with any queries that they have, however small it may be. Here are some tips for the first week for students. I would say that one of the most important parts is the final one. Please do not keep worries bottled up because this only makes things worse. We aim to deal with any incident the same day and want to reassure parents that we are here to support. We do not tolerate any form of bullying whatsoever at St John Fisher. Important dates to note. Additional information regarding these days can be found in your transition pack. And please look on our school website where there, are, where there is links to a virtual tour of Lower Sight, which may be helpful for your child to familiarise themselves with Mason Road site before they join us. So on the 23rd of August is the Grammar Stream Testing, 24th of August, New Year 7 Induction Summer School, and Year 7 will start earlier than the other years on the 2nd of September. We appreciate that the summer holiday can be long for some students and we are suggesting that students spend some time revisiting their maths and English work by completing some of these suggested activities. This is such an exciting time to be joining St John Fisher with our new build which is planned to open in early 2023. It will offer state of the art facilities for your child. There is a fly through on our website of the design and we look forward to providing with, with more regular updates as the build progresses and as we move nearer to the final completion date. Please follow us on Twitter and Facebook and look at the school website where you can find further information about our new building. I'm passionate about students achieving their aspirations and I look forward to meeting your child and ensuring they fulfil their ambitions to be the best they can possibly be.